In the previous movie, you learned how to select the mode. Now, you will learn how to set the combinations. If you selected 2, Dual Combination Mode, or 3, Supervisor Subordinate Mode, the process is similar. For Dual Combination Mode, dial right until the symbol C1, or Combination 1, appears. For Supervisor Subordinate Mode, dial right until the symbol CC appears. The remaining steps are the same. Dial the first new combination as if dialing the combination to open the lock. To review this process, refer to how to open and close an X10 lock. As an example, let's set the new number as 10, 30, 60. Dial left to the first number, 10, and stop. Dial right to the second number, 30, and stop. Dial left to the third number, 60, and stop. Now dial right briskly. The new combination will be displayed two times, two digits at a time. Once the combination has been displayed, the symbol C2, or Combination 2, will appear. Dial the second new combination. As an example, let's set the new number as 25, 50, 75. Dial left to the first number, 25, and stop. Dial right to the second number, 50, and stop. Dial left to the third number, 75, and stop. Now dial right briskly. The second new combination will be displayed two times, two digits at a time, followed by the symbol PO, or pull out. Pull out the change key. The change key symbol will disappear, and the operating mode confirmation will be displayed. The confirmation prompt for dual mode is C1, or Combination 1, followed by C2, or Combination 2. The confirmation prompt for Supervisor Subordinate mode is CC, or Combination Confirmed, followed by C2, Combination 2. Now, with the door open, dial the new combinations once again for confirmation. Afterwards, dial right, and you will see the symbol OP, or Open, with a right arrow displayed. Continue dialing to the right to retract the bolt. The new combinations are now set.